All right, 2nd of January and as the second day as well of my journal. So today started very, very extreme because I planned to do some project for one of my clients, which involved graphic designing. So I needed to design a couple of menus and uh, respond to messages. But I didn't predict that life will get its own way and my partner will go nuts with uh, what's happened. Basically, I don't know whether should I tell that or should I not? Should not? And there's a funny thing inside of my head. Oh, keep whispering. I should say. No, you shouldn't go into details, nobody will care, nobody will listen to you. But at the end of the day, those logins are not designed to be listened. Well, later on you will be able to get back to them and just look uh, how silly your thoughts were. That, like right now, uh, a year, two, three years from now, You'll notice how silly your thoughts were. <laughs> okay. Simple thing. Let's get back to the story. Squirrels bite, bitten the water pipe and the water started flooding our floor and I wanted to take care about it. At the end of the day, Magda wanted to take care of it right away and I couldn't manage my own emotions because I needed, because I planned something. And here is the important lesson that I needed to spend kind of some time to protest throughout the day, disconnect and really contemplate on that, like, what have I done? Probably it happened to you as well, you planned your day, you, wanted, you woke up, you wanted to do X, Y, Z and then some bad ring to, to you, somebody ask you for a favor, there's something urgent pops up. Well, most of the time gonna be everything gonna be is gonna be more important than, than your task. Like cleaning your house, doing your shopping, vacuuming and so on. But I'm not talking about that thing. I'm not talking about serious, I'm talking about serious issues, like your flat, your room was loaded. And that kind of thing doesn't really happen very often. Okay, but it happens. And usually when you want to make a huge change, things happen like that. Because word doesn't want you to change per se, want you to stay in its own comfort zone. So what's happening? Plan, make a vision, then you wake up, bam! You didn't expect that thing happening. It's a ridiculous thing happening. And you, you, didn't, you didn't have a chance to even predict. And then you're going crazy with it. Oh, there's no point and you start to get angry and annoyed by that so what can be done in a different manner stop close your eyes notice how you feel observe and then I tried to do that and again my mind tricked me because I allow my mind, okay, go and start shouting and start getting angry and instead of going deeper to understand why he's going angry, I allow to, okay, I, I get to the first level, the second layer, and my mind is angry, and I go angry, and then Magda came to me and guess what, Magda is my, my partner. And guess what will happen? Of course, 
I go angry. And, and then I, what else? Should I, shouldn't I just process those emotions? Shouldn't I just act calmly? No, because mine is very tricky. Because the smarter you get, ego, your ego gets smarter as well. So it's like interesting to observe how your ego is preventing you from reacting in a calm way. Say, I'm not talking about naive and being dormant. I'm talking about pretty much processing your, your emotions within so then you can find those answers. And that's gonna be helpful whenever you are talking to people on the phone, whenever you are having an argument. So then, once you will start observing your emotions, you will be more aware, you will, you will be more, more conscious about it. And the result? Somebody just getting. Somebody is just mean to you. Somebody said something mean to you. Or your partner was annoying. And instead of just going on autopilot and what everybody are doing, and reacting, attacking a person, by attacking a person, what you can do can process those emotions, okay, stop for a moment, acknowledge, take a deep breath, and instead of assuming a person wants to hurt you, look for the objective truth. Whether, whether what you think is really true, because our mind, our thoughts are just illusory, mind is creating them. Okay, so... If mind is creating them, means that we can remove the meaning, refrain them, and observe what that person really meant. Even such thing like good, good will mean different things to people. Evil mean will mean different things to you. Naive person. Different people have different meanings. Remember from my map? Map is the territory. The map, not the territory. Because everybody has own map through which they perceive reality, only filters through which they perceive reality. So, what if you could take a step back and really start to understand? Listen and go very much, very deep practical. How to do that? It won't be easy to just understand all my logical level. It will require practice because emotions are tricky, are sneaky. You lie to yourself. Not, not, no, not, maybe not lie to yourself. I wanted to use a different word. Like, you're pulled by them. Like a dog on a leash. So you need to become that naughty dog. Which is going on way. Or maybe better compassion is a cat. <laughs> yeah. Cats are going on way. You have to be that way. Or the lion. Even better. But how you can do that? By being aware that those are emotions are not you. So you stop being a puppet. Okay. Going even deeper. When you are feeling angry, depressed, stop for a moment. Look at the mirror. Just look at the mirror. That's how I start. 
simple looking inside the mirror was terrifying because I was afraid the other person I was afraid to look into my eyes into my own eyes into my own reflection in the mirror why? didn't, I, didn't act accordingly to my own values I was looking for validation outside which at the end of the day let's do burnout and lack of results so today I realized okay my mind is playing tricks and I learned that next time I can do an audio the journal input daily of the avenue and from that process that emotion ask your question what do I feel where do I feel what would need to happen for me to feel calm here you can use that interesting psychology trick mind as you like that no close question so if you ask yourself Fight. Magnus depression. Well, I was doing well, but I got plans, and that plans didn't work out exactly the way I wanted. They did to the extent that I managed to make a simple draft, and from this point, it will be easy to get on with this project. Finished that within like two or three days, and I man- managed to respond to messenger, messenger messages. Just, it's just weird to do that kind of thing in afterwards. I tend to process very much specific cases in the day because right now I just get got scattered along the day without being precise so that's that was the feeling I got in my, in my chest that I follow. it's going too broad okay so one lesson from the very morning when you plan your, uh, your day not always plan will work out especially in the beginning it might be one of the opposite because every odds are against you man so here push through that first, second, third day and observe how you are getting used to that of course you are not doing plan for the sake of plan there needs to be some vision to keep you motivated whenever you get angry second thing whenever you get angry stop contact with emotions look at the mirror make an update join up strongly recommend my control I'm experimenting with going a little bit I'll just say that. Not personal to the, the point that I'm revealing uh, everything. Or should I? You know, I mean, that's, that's an experiment. But I that those journal habits you can create something from. Because you're on the path of development as a coach, consultant, and a path of growth. So here I'm trying my own. And then the last one, the third thing today, was a messenger. Because I was like, in the past I figured out, okay, I'm afraid of responding to people's messages because I don't want to be left alone. And I, and I 
it was taken very much personally or somebody didn't respond because they are in my personal profile so I took it too personally but at the end of the, the day I realized okay treat them the way how you would like to be treated so and then you are going a little bit deeper even than that treat them how they need to be treated so you are finding out what they are about what they are interested just ask them questions figure out and figuring out their pains and desires that's going to be another probably in the very upcoming days I'm going to be going more in depth into that overcoming my own fears so how I figure it out I catch the feeling the feeling okay where do I feel that how do I feel what does it really mean I figure out okay I'm afraid of this alone and then you can acknowledge okay you are for you you just acknowledge that okay understand that how you feel so you don't have to be afraid of this alone because I'm gonna be just you for yourself it requires some awareness to kind of develop that internal dialogue probably you might consider oh those people are freaks and like this and stuff like that and I think look how powerful you will become once you're going to start to look within instead of just running around and looking outside at the end of the day there are no answers outside because reality is just happening and the only way you can find the true fulfillment is just finding that within experimenting and facing the reality as it is So I did. I observed my feeling of being afraid of messenger. Some people could call it silly. I get it. Some people are even not at the level of using messengers for the business purpose. Just sharing some cats and stuff. I was doing that as well, so I don't blame them. <laughs> okay. That was the update for the for the second day. So purpose for tomorrow is to actually get Finishing that project and the graphic designing many so that then I can go into Facebook groups and engage a little bit with people, see what's going on, get back to track because I'm kind of slacking on that part. Update. Just realize that it's not very clear. It's not very clear. It is clear. I was just, I, I just get through some. Uh, what was the word I was looking for? My thoughts are just start to wonder what I can do. See? Proper Facebook update. Start to start engaging with people and invites reach out job done respond to messenger messages and the most important thing observe how you feel one thing I wanted to add <coughs> I'm gonna be experimenting for the next couple of days, weeks to see 
how that can be improved. My self-image. Because for now it's very cool. I'm going to go very deep into that because I'm on the way home and I would like to take some run. Just spend that time for myself. But Maybe that might be not your thing. No, not, not your thing. Again, here is not that black and white because people fall in the trap of, yeah, I'm not just good at, I'm not just, I'm just not good enough for life. Or, just not for me. a couple of times and see if it's not ready for you. Have, have, fun, have finances. That's a good idea for cards, cards, which are no go thing. second update I do believe that I just mumble for at the beginning so need to very much learn to structure my thoughts in a better manner but that's the best I could do so I appreciate that that was done and I would I recommend for you to appreciate whatever you do your best self very much so that was time you will learn to structure your own thoughts in a much better way our second day and travel down sign you